In the following video, we're going to show you how to prepare polyacrylamide gels with the BioRed system. Here's the system, and what we have prepared already are the components of the resolving gel, with the acrylamide, the water, and the glycerol, and uh, the buffer. So this is already pre-prepared with everything besides the APS and the temid. So the solution is ready to go, and this is what we're going to use. So to get everything prepared, we have one pipette set at one milliliter, another pipette set at 60 microliters, which is the amount of APS that we have to add, and another one set at uh, 6 microliters, which is the amount of TMED we have to add. And the reason we do this is we want to have everything prepared because uh, time is of the essence. Once we add the APS and the TMED, um, the gel will start to polymerize. So we need to do work quickly once we've add the, added the two components. And so what we have to do is to add the components, uh, mix, and then add the solution between the two plates, the two glass plates we see here, up until this point here uh, that I'm showing you in the gel. It's about 7.5 milliliters. Okay, so here we go. Here's the APS. We're going to add 60 microliters to the solution. It's important to pipette uh, inside the solution, to, so insert your pipette tip below the, the level of the liquid to make sure it gets in. So here we go to add the solution and now we close the tube and invert several times to mix. And we do this to avoid a, a local concentration between the APS and the TEMID which would instantly polymerize and basically ruin our gel solution. So here we go now with the 6 microliters of the TEMID. And here we see it in the tube. We're going to get the appropriate volume and again add it uh, below the level of the liquid so in, insert your pipette tip below the level of the liquid and dispense the six microliters and again we want to mix this well by inverting several times and once we're ready with that we are going to use the one mil pipette to add about 7.5 milliliters uh, in between the two glass plates so this you should try to do uh, as quickly as possible, uh, or at least without pausing. Doesn't have you don't have to rush, but you should do it as all as continuously as possible. Just add um, the solution. You can see it's uh, in between the two plates. You can see the level increase, and we want to keep pipetting until we get up to the two doors um, in the support. Right. So anyway, we'll show you exactly where we have to arrive to. So now this is about 7 milliliters. You can see we're getting close to that point uh, where the doors end. Okay, so we want to make sure we get all the way up to there. So we're going to fill it up and I think we are going to add a little bit more because we're just right at the level there. So this half a milliliter more, 7.5 milliliters. I'm going to add that. Okay, so now we're all set. So now what we have to do next is to add water on top of uh, this solution and this is so that the polymerization works properly. We need to get a new tip. Okay, so we'll take our one mil pipette with our new tip and we're going to pipette water on top of the solution. So the solution has glycerol so that it's more dense than the water and what we're going to do is to add it slowly uh, on one side of the gel. Just let it run down where the spacer is and uh, it's fine that we have these bubbles. This actually will help be helpful so that we don't uh, mix the two phases. So we'll see that there's going to produce two phases between the water and the resolving gel solution. So you want to pipette steadily and slowly. And you can see here how there's the formation of the, of the two phases. You can see the bubbles coming up to the top. And this is why they're not going to affect the polymerization of our gel. And we're just going to keep adding water until we get to the other side and fill it uh, about one, one, one finger width, right? It's a little less than one milliliter, and as long as you have it complete from one side to the other, this is sufficient, okay? So now the, the border of our gel is going to form perfectly. We're gonna let that polymerize for some minutes, and you can see here that border between the phase where the water is and the phase where the resolving gel is, and the reason why there's this difference is because of the difference in density, okay? You can do this with other ways with um, gels without uh, glycerol using butanol for example. 
that's the upper face you just need something that's less dense so we can see here now the time has gone by and we can see our resolving cell gel is perfectly polymerized so now we're ready to do the stacking so the first step is to uh, remove the water from the gel but from between the two plates so we're going to remove it from the support just by uh, pressing on the there to release the plates and then we're going to dump the water into uh, this beaker and we're going to take a piece of Wattman paper and dry between the two plates just to get rid of the excess water so this you have to do very carefully so I like to use a piece of Wattman that is um, with straight edges so um, you can get close to the gel without touching it you just slide it down like that and especially you want to try to get all the water that's on the lower surface you can see there by capillary action the Wattman paper will basically absorb that water and now it's dry between the, the two plates it doesn't have to be completely dry you just want to get rid of most of the water we place it again onto the support and now we're ready to do uh, the stacking gel and add the comb okay so the comb is ready here's our stacking gel we have the mix again with the buffer and the acrylamide and the water that we needed and we're going to add to this mix 30 microliters of APS and then we're going to add also the 3 microliters of, of Temet after that so first let's start with the APS the 30 microliters just like before you want to pipette that volume and, and insert your tip below the level of the liquid and dispense your liquid and again cover and mix to avoid this local concentration of APS plus timid plus acrylamide and so now we'll do uh, the three microliters of the timid very similar to the resolving gel just uh, different amounts again it, here is very important to get your tip below the level of the liquid so that we pipette all of the volume into the liquid and we will mix again and now we will add this solution between the two plates and, and in this case we want to fill it all the way up to the top because we want to avoid uh, trapping bubbles uh, in the different uh, uh, parts of the of the comb right so between the teeth of the comb we don't want to trap any bubbles so the way to avoid that is to fill up uh, all of the space between the two plates with um, the stacking solution okay so now that's ready now we're going to take our, our comb and uh, with this Pyrad system you can see that there's, there's, there are letters on the front side of the comb you can read them there the Biorad and you can also see that there's like a little edge on it and that we have to get that all the way down to the, the small plate so you want to insert this in between the two plates very carefully you also have to be careful because um, this can splash so you want to make sure your face is not very close when you do this you want to stay far away and just press down until you get the edge of the of the comb uh, flush with the small plate okay just press it down and this avoids any air entering and so the polymerization will take place correctly and now we let that polymerize and then your gel is ready to use